Hi everyone, welcome. Yvette here with iCarillo Design. I want to share with you some altered bottles that I've made using my Lindy Stamp Gang products. As you all know, I am a designer for Lindy Stamp Gang and I have the privilege of using these beautiful products. I want to share some altered bottles that I've found. Um, basically throughout the year I'll go to different little rummage sales and um, little yard sales and if I find little cute bottles or things like that I will bring them home and then alter them for um, different seasons of the year and that way I have um, you know really cute home decoration items so some of these bottles are just old bottles that I've found and some of uh, want to show you one of the bottles that you can also not have to go out and actually uh, buy things from rummage sales you can actually um, use uh, different bottles that you can get at your grocery store just take the labels off and you can actually use them for these types of projects so let me show you what I have done let me take so for instance here I want to show you this bud vase that I found I think I paid like five or ten cents for this it was like super super cheap and I have taken some well let me start showing you the materials that I've used and then getting down to uh, the products that I've used from Lindy's. So basically what so I've taken is what I did is I just cut it down and I've kind of made a little belly band for my butt vase as you can see here and then this is some fabric I left had left over from another project and a piece of trim that I had in my stash and I went ahead and I just hot glue got in that right into that and the beauty of this is that if you ever get tired of this you can just heat it up take it off and redecorate again so it's super simple so um, let me show you I've taken some of my Martha Stewart punches and I punched out some butterflies and I've sprayed it down with some of my moon glows and then on top of that I've added some diamond dust as you can see there I'm not sure if the camera is really picking that up but there we go you can see there it turned out super cute here I've taken some metal leaves that I found in Michaels in the garden section and what I did there is I took my Bursa marker pen which looks like this like so right there and it has a brush tip as you can see right there and I've taken this brush tip and I've gone around my metal leaf and then to that I added some embossing powder in Byzantine bronze. So it's right there and it looks like that. So it gave me this two-tone effect on a metal piece right here. And I also taken a metal piece and I added it here, a little flower, and another leaf right here. So that's what I did there. That's um, a cute little technique that I've used there with my um, Lindy's product. And here I've made a pin as you all know, I usually make pins for my projects, so I added a little pin there. And then, this beautiful seam binding, how I got this awesome coloration, I'll show you now. Let me move my little base to the side, and I'll show you. Here's an example of what I did, and it's super luscious. Look at that, you guys. This color is just really, really awesome. Look at that. So this was just regular beige seam binding, really light beige, almost white, and I got this beautifulness in here by adding these colors to it. So, and this is sun dried, by the way. Um, if you don't have the time, you could definitely take your heat gun to this, but I really like sun drying my seam binding because it seems to keep this wrinkliness to it it doesn't go lax and what I mean by that it's that this is not necessarily a obviously it's not a paper crafting project where you know the paper is going to be safe somewhere this is an altered project for the home so you have different humidity humidity levels throughout the home and things like that so you don't really want your seam binding to become laxed and the, the way you achieve that is by sun drying it if you have the ability to do that so the colors that I used to color this were um, my Moon Shadow Mist in Golden Doubloons. 
I also added Cattail Copper Brown, and this is in a Starburst. And I added to that a little bit of Treasure Island Agua. It was just a tiny bit of this, and then I totally saturated it with these two, with the first two that I showed you. And that gave me this beautiful coloration. And then on purpose, I left some areas lighter than other areas, and it just gives it beautiful depth. So um, that's what I used for that project. Or actually, I used it for all three of the bottles that I'm showing you today. I've used the same products. So my second bottle, you probably recognize that little bottle. And this little bottle here, I did the same thing. I created a little belly band with my burlap. I added some trim for my stash, and I also added some jute right here to tie it off. There's a little bow back there. Again, I created a, a ruffly flower or a ruffly center with my, um, with my seam binding. Here I've added an M with a little pin, another pin that I've made right back here. Some of my butterflies that are kind of creeping up from here. They're kind of staggered going up the bottle. And it just goes all around the bottle that way. And I'm going to use this bottle to store my um, calligraphy pens. I just love these. And uh, they need to be kept in a dry place. So I'm going to keep them in this bottle here. So as you can see, it turned out pretty cool. I'm really, I really like the way this project turned out. And then for my largest bottle, this is an antique find that I found a little um, in a little shop actually and it wasn't very expensive I really like these bottles I got like five of these and what I did here is I took some of my I am roses and these I am roses I sprayed down with my moon shadow mist in mystic malachite and this particular one what I did with this one, I have alcohol in here as opposed to water. You generally um, fill these up with warm water, shake them up, and they're ready to go. Well, this one, what I did is I diluted it in alcohol, and it gives you a super cool effect because as soon as you start spraying, it starts drying immediately. So uh, it catches those beautiful mica powders in a different way as you can see there and I purposely left some of the flower white and some of it with more concentration of the color because I wanted it to look kind of burnt old tattered um, patinaed so that's what I did with that um, I added some at the end of my uh, vintage label here which I found online by the way you can just do a search for vintage um, soap labels and you'll find a huge array of labels that you can either get for free or pay a couple of dollars for and I added that there and down here I added just some trim and the trim that I'm using today is by spare parts and uh, you can get those at Hobby Lobby I think so um, that's what I added there and again for the ribbon I kind of sprayed that down again with um, I think that was golden doubloons to give it that little patinaed look. Um, here I added again my metal leaves, one here and one down here. And then I have a few little butterflies down here as well. Um, right there I think the camera is picking up. I added my cactus gold to the back here on the label so it gives it really pretty shimmer. There we go. I think you can pick it up there. Real pretty shimmer. Right here below my little um, poofy <laughs> concentration of seam binding, which I explained how I dyed earlier, I have a Tim Holtz key and a bobble hanging from there. And at the top here, it has this little cork um, stopper, and I didn't want to lose the integrity of the stopper, so I left it as is, and these colors really match this well so I just left it alone and I added a butterfly right here at the rim of the bottle and again I just took some diamond dust and on here I added that malachite that mystic malachite color below here and as you can see it just gave a beautiful patinaed look and then of course the diamond dust and I added another little butterfly there and I just crunched up 
some of my seam binding and it goes around the bottle like so so that I can hold my bo my bottles and my key right there and that is my largest bottle and I'm going to lay it down so you can see and it. That is my uh, project that I'm sharing this week with you guys. So I really appreciate you guys stopping by and taking a look. Take care and I will see you guys in a week or so.